So we got up this morning to see Garen and Ellie off. Are you guys ready for the great adventure? Oh yeah. It says only six hours on yeah, the... Yeah, uh, six hours and So we're thinking minutes. ten. We'll see you when I put the roof on. Bye, right, dude. <laughs> Couple weeks. <laughs> that would be fantastic. Hey. We'll see you guys soon. Right? Six hours, right? So yeah, we're good, right? <laughs> Bye. Bye. Don't leave me. Okay. I think it works better if you all go one way. Well, they're going to meet up on the other, like, the road comes around, so they're gonna meet. But it does look unusual, I'm not gonna <laughs> lie. <laughs> all right, we made it. Got stuck a couple <laughs> times. We're all kinda partly set up. I think it's gonna sink, I'm gonna be honest with you. It's pretty muddy up here, which is why we got stuck. Hopefully we don't get eaten by wolves. All right, day one, uh, we, we lived through the night, so. No wolves, got us. No wolves. Getting up here was a bit interesting. We got stuck a few times. It was really muddy, but we made it. We made Our it. little tiny pickup truck pulled out the big one in the trailer. Mm-hmm. It's really cool to finally be up here working on this piece of land and building. It's so beautiful up here. It's exciting to get working on the project and stuff too. This is what's left of our old failed project, if you will. It's pretty rough. We were trying to dome it, so we didn't know you needed to use cement in it. So it came down because you need the cement to settle and harden so you can get that nice dome in a safe manner without it blowing out on the sides. We already have a lot of the pieces of like doors and windows are already built. And these window frames, I think, are going to be okay. Uh, they don't look rotted or anything. They just look kind of sun beaten. The hardest part about this is going to be actually tearing out this old bag material. There's a lot of dirt here and these bags are they're real hard to take down so that's going to be the hardest part. Hi Al. What are we doing? Tearing it up. It is solid. Look at that. Yeah. So we're just cutting the outside and then open it off. All these bags are so dry rotted now that they really just fall apart because they haven't been stuccoed over and kept out of the sun. I think we're going to probably end up adding some cement to it. That way it hardens up a little better. We got our first room torn down. So the bags have been really hard to get down. They're very solid. Yeah, yeah. With <laughs> all the barbed wire. And... Yeah, we've kind of found too, like it's easier to like cut out small sections and pull them out. That way you can pull the dirt away from where you're working and you don't bury what you're trying to work on. It's it's quite the process to remove yeah. these things. We, we learned that the hard way. There's no rot on the window frame, so it looks like we're gonna be able to reuse them, which is really, really cool. All right, Al, how you doing? Yeah. Are you tired? A lot of work taking all this down. That's cool. Yeah, pretty buried, so. But we're getting there. Almost there. Party! We got done. Ooh, yeah. Here it is. The last bag. Woo. It's quite the amount of work to take down, even a partial one of these buildings. There's a lot of bags. It looks very cool. You wear you out, these ones. What are we doing? Well, tearing out the last layer so we can put in a new one. We kept this last layer on uh, while a few days while we were letting it set. That way we didn't have a bunch of dirt falling over the bag. I'm going to put a T-post in. Center point to pull our string off so we can measure our circle as we lay the bags down. All right, that should do it for the center post. And then I have a plan to get it up higher uh, once we get to that point and actually get it lower as well. I got Ellie doing all the... Uh, the hard work, like the uh, the digging. You gotta keep your delicate stature. Yeah, I don't wanna get too buff. <laughs> I'm gonna build our leveling stick. 
thinking pretty fancy here for us, actually. You gotta use duct tape if you're gonna need pressure. Oh. 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 Slight problem. <laughs> I'm on the wrong side. We're professionals. What? Okay, you're good. So here's how my contraption works. So because we didn't have a long enough center pole to go to the top of the ceiling, I devised this little baby right here. It's just a level, but it's got these fancy eyelets and hooks on it. And then you can hook here and then bring the level to level and still go around. And then you can get that extra few feet to hopefully get to the top. All right, so last time when this building fell over, we have to do something to change that, obviously. We can't do the same thing. So a couple things we're doing now is the walls are now gonna be straight instead of curved, and we're gonna put a roof on. And then also, too, we've noticed that our dirt, when we took it out of the bag, was pretty sandy. So now what we've been doing is we've been adding about a coffee can of cement to every wheelbarrow we do, which we figure is somewhere around one in 20. We're gonna take, and we're gonna do a little test bag and then let it harden and see how it hardens. And then from there, too, we can kind of adjust our mixture accordingly. This was our test piece that we uh, put together the other night. What we're looking for is this. Is this clumping? That's pretty good. Just needs to harden. And this looks pretty good, I think. And you can see all that sand over there. There's like hardly any dirt clods in it. And then just this little pile here has more. And that's what we're looking for. I think we're good. We're good. Woo Party! For the layout of the building now, we have two bedrooms on kind of the Mickey Mouse ears of it, and then there's a little like shower section off of the master bedroom. It's really the same size bedroom, but it does have the shower and we'll put like a little vanity in there too, but no sink or toilet. Yeah, we'll do like the main room you come in, there'll be like a kitchen on the right, and then probably the rocket stove in the front. And then off to the left, it can be like a little living area, couch or whatever you want. It's small, but it's gonna be, I think it's gonna be perfect for kind of the hunting cabin, small vacation home kind of thing. We have roughly about 25, 20 to 25 scoops in here with cement over the top. And give her a mix. Woo! We got three layers up on everything and then four layers in a couple places, which is pretty cool. Um, I think it's gonna go fairly fast. Yeah. With the mixing of the, like, the cement into the buckets, it's definitely gonna take us more time, mm -hmm. just cause it's, you gotta mix every single wheelbarrow. We're getting the hang of it though. Yep. All right, we made it. One of the big city. And we got a bunch of pallets for free, which are awesome. We got 20 bags of Portland cement. That way we can put up a ton of the bag walls here. Oh, here they come. Man, he comes good. We got a new puppy. There he is. He's so cute. He's a good boy. His name's Petrol. New member of the family, huh? The Habitat for Humanity was having an adoption weekend at the pet store and he was there. Yeah, so cute. We just like so fell in love with him when we saw him. Really cool dog, really cool personality and yeah. stuff. Yeah. He loves Tifa too. Yeah, oh, you heard your name, yeah. you gotta come over? Okay, yeah. yeah. We love you too, buddy. Yeah. We're putting in the door frame for the bathroom here. It's just gonna be two four by sixes on sides and one on top. Final top piece going on. Perfect. Looks like a door frame. Fancy little clips. Cool.
we decided because we had all this dirt in here and these two rooms are gonna be a lot lower and we're gonna have to haul dirt into them, we might as well level off the floors with the dirt that's in here or at least get them somewhat close. That way, or when we come down to doing the floor, we don't have to haul a bunch of dirt in that we already took out. Efficient. Efficient. It's because that's what we are. We are efficient. We are at outlet height now. And I'm gonna, we're gonna try and level out the whole building today. That side there is gonna need quite a few, probably two to three more bags to bring it up to level. And then same with this side here. Just try and get set to like a level point that we can put all our outlet boxes in at. And from there we'll, we'll figure out what's next. Time to put in the power. I was getting our light switches in. And then we're at the right level, so we're gonna put in our whole power setup now. We're gonna put one outlet in the rooms, and then a couple here in the living room, and then maybe one in the bathroom too. This whole place is gonna be on a really light solar setup. There's no really use for a lot of outlets in here because you wouldn't have enough power to run everything anyway. Okay, we got all our wiring in. It's got a good separation between the barbed wire and the electrical wire, because that'd be a bummer, get a short, and then have to rewire sections. And then this one here, it's just coiled there because all the rest of the outlets and the switches are on a higher level. Okay, we're at window height, so get this guy up here, so maybe. These are dad's massive frames. Uh, he built them out of two by 12s, and I think we've moved to two by 10s since then. But, so we'll try. More to go. The bags are holding up really good with that 25 to 1 mixture we're doing. They're very solid. Like, they're more solid than most of the walls we've put together. And it's so cool because it's such a little amount of concrete that's really in there, or cement that's in there, rather. They're immovable. Mm hmm. All right, well, I think we got about a third of the building done this week. Yeah. So. Pretty exciting. We got like one more layer and then we're doing the outlet boxes and I don't know, things. roots? That's, yeah, I think so. This week the walls started getting pretty high. It's a little bit of a reach to throw those cans in. Yeah. It's getting to be kind of a step stool type thing. Be nice to have more people now, but yeah. we'll figure it out. We're figuring it out. Just we'll get her. All right, so we've had some changes in our design. We got some really cool ideas for an outdoor kitchen right out here. We're gonna make this into like a pergola type thing. We thought it would look really cool, and it kind of it makes it kind things of fits. Yeah, so this is just gonna become a kind of a closet area. We are gonna put our solar batteries in here because they do need to stay insulated somewhat because you can't just have your batteries out in the snow. Alright, so this week my parents came up and helped us a ton. So much done, we were able to get these really tall walls. They had some extra hands. Where are you at, Petro? Huh? Why are you ignoring me? Why are you ignoring me? After your parents left, some friends came down uh, and they helped us finish up the last few rows, which was just 
perfect timing on both their parts because yeah. it was just like right when we needed right extra when hands. We need it. Thank you so much, guys. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> We made it to the top of the window frame, so now I'm just putting together a couple headers here uh, on the two small rooms, the two shorter rooms in the back. These guys are gonna go on. Okay, one more over here, and we're good. All right, we're off to get some lumber for the roof. Let's see if we can fit it all in the truck. Yeah, hopefully we can. <laughs> it's a lot. <laughs> it's quite the load. It is. Ethan, the cab is full. <laughs> full. Let's get her unloaded. Party! So much fun to have all this fresh wood to build with. And it's fun too to build with things that, you know, reuse yeah. material stuff. It's fun to do that shit too, but just to have new stuff sometimes to put something together. It's just fun as well. Yeah, it's all fresh. Should we try two? All right, babe, here we go. Right back where we had it. Perfect. <laughs> Never mind, we're going for four. Four? <laughs> Maybe not. Remember when you said, oh wow, that's really heavy? That was four. <laughs> Let's do three then. Working up a sweat. <laughs> Didn't think that was possible. Just trying to keep you on your toes. You are keeping my on my toes and my shoulders mostly in socket. <laughs> they have nutritional facts. When you're buying shingles, always check the nutritional facts. Oh yeah. You don't want a lot of ingredients. Just sand and tar. Sand and tar. Yeah. He's just turned into quite the little dog. He's got so much energy he says what me no i i don't chew on anything i'm just the perfect animal hmm she's the perfect woman sarcasm no <laughs> some movie that's funny i don't remember sounds familiar though So Garen and Ellie are ready for the roof. You and me and Bryson. Jumped in the truck, headed on our way up there. See all the colors. Beauty's in purple and violet. Look at that, double rainbow. And I don't know if I can show it, but it goes all the way It's over. a full one. We're going under the rainbow and through the bridge. To yeah. Under the rainbow. To my brother's house we go, and my newly adopted sister. How often do you see a double rainbow like that? That's not proof werewolves exist. I don't know what it is. It was a really beautiful drive. Got there a little late. We followed them back in. All right, we're here. Garen says, don't slow down. Oh my, okay. Oh, that's a big ride. Oh my. Whoa. Whoa. Hang on. I think you missed stabilization right over here. <laughs> I don't know. I know my stabilization above my neck isn't working very well. <laughs> Can we make the turn? Uh oh. Uh oh. Come on. Come on, trucky. A lot more oh, than yeah. I thought. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Going down the old driveway? That's a new driveway. The new one? Oh, the new one. Ah. Okay, here we go. Ooh, yeah, there's the place. Look at that. Boom, there it is. What are you doing, Gar? You gonna make her? Oh, yeah. Awesome. There it Aww, is. Oh, this road is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> and their home is so warm and inviting. Mm -hmm. and but it was nice. We had their camper and stuff. They had it all set up. It was so cute. We had the, he, Garen had his little fireplace going. One morning later. Ah, oh, it's so beautiful. Trying to put a roof up. My favorite thing. It's sure not very warm here.
Hey, we actually can see you in person now. Yeah, right here. I was just in awe. It's big and beautiful and strong. Okay, the camera doesn't even show how much they did. All the way over here. Did all that in one day. All right, Ellie, you're on camera. Oh, better pay attention, huh? They're short working. This stuff is just like so fun to put on. It looks like chocolate on. ice cream. Want some? Oh, it tastes like dirt. <laughs> <laughs> We're putting up the scaffolding. We're only gonna be there three, four days. Yep. So you guys had to really kick into gear. Getting out of work. All of them done. I like how we're holding this bride real nice and stable. Yeah, everyone. You guys are doing a great job. This, this is so nowhere. exciting. <laughs> <laughs> just don't, just don't show. Okay, so I'm gonna push it your way. We'll just my best guess. We'll center center or yeah. Real center. Uh, as close to center as you can. You measure down. There a little we're that. We're across here. If there wasn't any bagging, then we would slide away and do a little bit of the stucco on the outside. You guys outside. got a lot of the stucco down on the outside. Ellie did. Ellie's very quick at the stucco. Coming around the corner. I love the look of that cob. Hey, Dad. He's on Basia, right? Two by six for Basia. Are you under the tarp? Staying away from the rain? Mm. Yeah. Day one, we worked hard. It's starting to get dark. We had a great day. We got uh, we got the main structure framed in, all the rafters framed in. And you decided on not a reciprocal roof this time. Not a reciprocal yet. roof this time, no. As you created the little bays and we could do the bagging in between and so we had to pull Bryson away and then the three of us to Ellie. Yep, started Ellie. putting the bags between the rafters. Ellie, Bryson and myself were mm -hmm. doing that. The three of them were working on that and they're pressing us to get done faster because Garen, you know, Garen and I are we're doing our best but you know, put up the commons. That was pretty easy, pretty simple. But when we got into the valleys, uh, that's a tough or thing because there's so many different facets. And then it became a competition. Garen and I are going, if we don't hurry up and keep these guys busy, they're going to be standing around. So we were hustling and trying to make our, our best effort to try to think through these very complicated, uh, very articulate pieces of lumber we needed to put on the roof because we were doing layons and valleys and stuff. Oh, it was, it was very complicated. <laughs> this atmosphere up here in the mountains and with the trees all around, it's beautiful. It's so cozy in here at nighttime and it's a really cute place up here and they're doing a great job on the building. I'm so impressed. It's going to be fun to see it with a roof. Oh, it's so. gonna be exciting. Lunchtime in the uh, roof building business and cobbing business. Ellie, I'm not sure which towel I'm supposed to use. The, the blue one is the hand towel. Oh, good, because I've been using the red one. <laughs> Hey, we're doing the upload for the video for next week. Upload from the mountains. Yeah, from the mountains. And we are at... Oops, hit power switch. <laughs> That's yeah. funny. And we're having to use our phones funny. as internet. What's your thought on the on the tool. building? That it's about the sturdiest building I think we've ever put up. We? Well, they. Ellie actually, and Darren they put, put up. It, up. <laughs> it is strong. If that volcano explodes, it'll probably be the only house standing. They did like a month's worth of work with they're just, just two being people. Nice guys, you know, when we have six people, right here. We'll you guys that. just go out that door right there. This for like five minutes. For like five minutes? Or yeah. Five. Actually, better make it ten. I have some extra things on there. <laughs> I have a lot. I want to say. It's still, it, it's really tied to a different angle though. What about a lower rim? Garen and Ellie have put together the walls like amazing. It's made putting on the roof even easier. And now Garen's gonna be doing all these roofs now. So I'll be going to him going, hey, let's do a roof. <laughs> I learned some things from Garen. Garen taught me some things today. So that's cool. I love that.
brace and get them laid really tight there. And the tighter they are, then we don't have to cob in up in between. Sometimes we do that little spray, spray foam. Spray foam works really well. Day three. Day three. three. We have to get the roof basically finished today. We gotta be ready for sheeting tomorrow morning. That is gonna be a stretch. But we're gonna do it, hopefully. More dirt. More steam. Look at this. Nothing but clay. No, I'm just... I'm just taking it places. Just it If you put those boards on, then you can no longer pack the bags down. I know one area you had sheeted and we hadn't bagged yet, so yeah. Garen took that sheeting back yeah. off so we could bag because... Well, Garen and I were so proud. Oh, look, it looks great. Now we can layer. Garen, we didn't let them see. Oh. Quick spot. You guys getting it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, if it was easy, anybody could do it. You know, if you look it at it like this, it oh, yeah. yeah. looks level. Drop that down. <laughs> Which way? We'll <laughs> we have every week. And then look how me. Slide along. I had you miss it, Dolphin. Although, aluminum is found in clay. Lunch break? Head break! You got a turn there? Oh, good. this against her head and busted it. What can I say? I'm hard headed. <laughs> I was really impressed with the guy's abilities up there, you know, to be able to think through these things. Uh, many times I had no answers and Garen or Bryson would pop through with an answer or ask the right questions to get us to the right end. I could, there were times I couldn't even think through this and they were just right there with an answer. But we had four different styles of valleys to do. You have the three <clears throat> circles and the valleys are in between? Is that what yeah, they are? Yeah, it's whenever the roof comes down on one side and comes down on another side, that creates a valley. Oh, okay. In a normal house, it's got square here and a square here and that's a 45 and it all comes together, it's, it's easy. But we had facets, we had 16 different facets on this roof, so it had 16 different planes to work with. Sometimes we made some mistakes, obviously, you know, we got, <laughs> we'll cut the bevel on the wrong side or it's not the right bevel, but you don't make it nearly as just flat on like we normally mm. like stuff. So, and the guys did great, they're so smart. Garen from now on can just go up there and do these things. And Bryson too is probably- He really wanted to pay more attention to this time. I think he knows more than he thinks. So he could do, do one on his own in the future too, which yeah. I'm sure they'll be able to do. All right, Ma, what's your new system? You said the broken tamper. Easier on the hands. Oh, nice. <laughs> Just hope it's not your finger. I'll try to avoid the finger. That's a good, good point. The ridge on, huh? Yeah, we're getting the other side on. We'll have that done here in a minute or two. So, so. Oh, oh, wait, you're off on the shiner there. No, no. It's perfect. Tiny eighth of an inch. Yeah. I can't see it from my hand. Nice. All right, guys, six more hours.
Then we're gonna leave at Garen and Ellie on their own, so we gotta get a bunch done. We have this generator, and the muffler on it is so loud, we hardly even talk to each other. And Ellie and I were even talking about ways to sabotage it and just, you know. <laughs> oh, Take the joy out of it a little bit. But... What? <laughs> Look in there. Do you need sustenance? No, it's okay, I'll live. <laughs> That's a guy job, baby. <laughs> You're like, no way. I got boots. <laughs> that last one right there? Yeah, for this one. Yeah. Nice. Grab one more room? Right. What's up, dude? What's up, Diesel? Pull it! You looking for some food? Yeah, you looking for some food? Oh, yeah. So I know on two of those circles, we typically like a longer eve, but we accidentally ordered. Yeah, I ordered 10 footers, two yeah. by eights instead of the 12s. But they're still gonna work, and yeah. you know, it'll still look nice up there. There's not much wind there. Mm. They're gonna be about an 18 inch eve, we, eve instead of like a two footer or a three footer mm -hmm. like we normally like to have. But even at 18 inches, that's still not bad. Well, Bryson's gonna stay in. Help us finish up with the sheeting and the I don't know what, what, what I can help with, but I can help hold and nail things in if... <laughs> few hours left, we gotta get this valley in and then Garen and Bryson are gonna <laughs> put the um, fascia on and uh, we're gonna get back and a kitchen to get ready for Christmas. Me being the spring chicken I was, I, I, I started out pretty good. But as we roll along, I was like, I was uh... Garen said to me, Dad's done, Mom. He's no, done. I, I'll have to admit, <laughs> despite that, I'm really quite muscular. It, it took a little bit longer than we thought. And because of all the complications of those cuts, he ended up getting a, most of the framing done, but the fascia, which is that front board that goes around, mm -hmm. that didn't get done. That's complicated. Garen is the best to do that anyway. But yeah, for some reason he has this knack for it. But these guys can handle it. I think we got it. We have to sheet it, fascia. We believe in you. My dog is out there barking at people, you know? The people who drive by. They're out here. Can you see it, Gary? I see little bits of it through here. Their spot. Just barely see it. Yeah. Not even very far from it either. No. Another 100 yards to the back of the property. Is that tire from the old tire swing? There's where I wanted to put an outdoor shower one time in that area. I love this. I just love it. It's a great place. There it is. Be nice when they get those windows in too. It'll just really. Be cute, get the stucco on there. They're doing a great job. Perfect. It's a wonderful four days up there. They they mm. fed us well. Oh, yeah, and we, ate good. we were warm and toasty and it's fun to be in a in that atmosphere. It's treed and the weather was really nice. I'd say we were in easily into the sixties. Yeah, well even the low seventies, I think in one day. We might have really... been. Bryson's gonna go ahead and stay behind and help <clears throat> finish up the fascia and that'll be nice. It's it's too bad we didn't get it done, but we did our best. Make sure to buy your diesel shirts or your dog shirts. Team petrol. petrol. Team no, petrol. Pull petrol. <laughs> 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 away. Then we
we headed back and uh, left them there to finish up. I know mm -hmm. they're going to do a super job. We'll be able to see that next week. That's going to be fun. Yeah, it'll just be fantastic. They live in a gated community. Oh, yeah. really fun to be around Garen and Ellie because they have such they have such a sweet and tender relationship with, you know toward each other and mm -hmm. they work well together yeah they, yeah, they're a good sweet. couple they're gonna do well plus they're gonna make us a lot of grandkids I think Garen was talking 12 all girls well, yeah, I think right? he said 12. <laughs> maybe it was 15 I don't know how Ellie feels about that yeah well <laughs> I, I should have looked at her face when he mentioned 12. <laughs> it's going from my little homestead to cheaper by the dozen <laughs> <laughs> We're keeping Bryson. Mom and dad are off. Bryson stayed here to help us finish up the roofing because we really just need like one or two more days. We're so close. So after mom and dad left, we put on, oh yeah, don't look at that spot right don't there. Don't look at that spot. Everything no. else is great. We got about half the building's face on, I think. It's got a really cool little look to it. In the front, we had to bring it up a little higher to clear this awning right here. It's got a nice hood over the window, little eyebrow over the door, and then it again has those really cool little drop downs right through here. It's a lot of fun, this whole roof line is. So we're just gonna finish up the rest of the fascia and then hopefully get to sheeting. It's not widely known, the math, to just put it together. So a lot of it's just measuring. Isn't it, Bryson? It's a, a lot, lot of measuring. And re-measuring. Because you're like not sure that you're thinking through it correctly. Yeah, and then you're like, oh, this will fit. And you put up there like, ah, no, it doesn't fit. You cut that one. I'll start to generate. <sighs> yeah, when each board has a couple bevels and angles per side. No, the board is perfect. <laughs> That yeah, is it, an insanely it looks long. <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> Nothing. I have no idea. <laughs> ignore this horrific gap. Oh, and yeah. just enjoy this. Don't look too close, and it's perfect. Perfect. I'm not shooting any shiners. Here That's we go. Down a little bit. There you go, dear brother. Make it happen. Declare awesome. the fascia done. Now I declare the face are done. You can paint on it and we'll even be able to see it. working up there for several days and we were starting to get really exhausted and tired. We ended up getting the fish on and the sheeting and well we also got we also got the, the ranger on and some flashing. All right, the roof, sheeting, and fascia is done. And a little bit of valley work. I have been kind of figuring out those. Woo! Woo That's a lot. Yeah. One week <laughs> from no roof to this. All the sorts of shingles. Totally different feel in here. Looks pretty awesome. It's starting to look like a house. It's gonna be such a fun feeling here. Yeah, oh, they're a good size. It's gonna be fun to get windows in here too. Yeah, it'll get so much lighter in here. Yeah. Anyway, get some shingles on here and we'll be set to go. Little back room in here. So dark. But yeah. Oh it's cool. All I feel is a wire, guys. I think we forgot to wire the lights.
Okay, my lady, what are we doing today? All right. Woo. Sorry, D. The whole roof and shingle it. All right. Let's do it. So, nice. How do you feel about being back, Diesel? He really doesn't like the cold, does he? He's a little mopey about the cold. And we got we got to back to the warmth, and he just like lit up. Now he's kind of mopey again. Mwah! I don't know if you can see it, it's pretty dark in here. But we're gonna put collar ties, three of them here, and then I'll put three as well here. And then where the roof comes in, where the ridge comes in, I'm also gonna block a little more so that this big roof will support the lay on. That stuff's gotta be done too, but I can wait on that a little bit until after the roof is finished. Ellie's been deer hunting a couple of times now and she's had some really good success with it. So we decided that we should both go this year. So we got our tags. On the second day, we got both our deer. So it was really, really, really cool. It was, it was a lot of fun. Yeah, I, it was a lot of fun. We got a lot of meat now in our freezer. Really healthy. Yeah, it's, it's not processed. And it's just, and it's very, very good too. All the tar paper done all the way around. Now it's time to shingle her up. Time to start in the shingles. It's gonna be really interesting. There's a, there's a lot happening on this roof. A lot of ridges. We gotta figure out how to do. And I've watched some videos on. I think I know how to do them, but it's gonna be a bit of a learning experience. That's always fun. We didn't get quite it all done yesterday. We got the tar paper done, and we got a little bit started on the shingles. Coming together really nice. Yeah. We got the valley figured out now. We still need to, I need to get some chalk for my chalk line so we can snap that and cut the valley. And then our ridges, our hips, those guys are set to be capped. And I think that this side is gonna get a little ridge cap as well. Doesn't have much of an angle change, but it is there. Not too bad for hunting all week and then coming back and getting this done, I think. It'll work. It's freezing out there. It's really cold. Sorry. This is cold. All right, we're heading back out to do shingles. Nicole, <laughs> so dramatic. <laughs> okay, what's our plan? Well, we just we went online. We learned how to do valleys a couple days ago. I'm gonna finish this one up. So we just gotta cut it and make it look nice. So if you could hold the chalk line right here at this point. And now we're just cutting a straight line. Okay. Right? Yep. Then this top layer, we're gonna cut the straight line, and then we're gonna glue it down. A straight yeah. line so it looks all pretty. Yep. That's what we're all about. Looking good, babe. I'll do it. Pretty good. Day four on the shingles, and it is taking us forever. In our defense, it's pretty cold because we're from such warm climates. It just takes a little bit, but it is actually cold today. By most people's standards, not just ours. We're gonna keep going on this, see if we can't get a couple done today. It's looking really cool though, like the it shape is. of the roof is coming together really nice. Yeah, here I'll show you it on the side. I just love the colors. Shingles just look really cool. Yeah. They're fun to put on too. We decided to call it quits outside today. I know, can you believe how much we got done? Kinda silly to sit out here and freeze our fingers off, quite literally. It's so cold. Cause it's gonna get back up in the 50s all week after today. So why would we work out here in the 20s? It's cool. Think Correct. warm thoughts. Send us warm thoughts. All right, darling. We made it through the night. We did. Hey, it was so cold last night, and we may or may not have ran out of propane. So it was, uh, it was a little chilly, to say the least. Ran in the fireplace for a little while, but Absolutely. we're alive. It's warm today, sun's out. We're yep. Done. We got three days, something like that. I don't know. We have a timeline. Here we go. It 
turned out we don't have quite enough shingles to do what we'd like to do today. We have someone coming in to help us. We want to have all the materials here. So Ellie ran to the store, grab a couple more. So it's just me all alone. It's okay. I'm fine. So, Caleb, Ellie's hey. brother, came to help bail us out here because we're freezing to death. Came up last night and helped us do a ton. Well, more like I watched you do a ton, but you know. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> Well, we ran out of materials again, but we made it a long ways and got like half of one bedroom left. Woo! This is the big circle here. We got that done all the way, the little pop out, and through here, these valleys cut from the very top of the roof here. It's looking good. Just got that one side to do over there and a little bit more ridge cap, but it is looking good. When I was at Garen and Ellie's, we were using some dirt and we wanted to test out the dirt to see how much of it was clay. And did our little test, which is basically just take some dirt, put it in a bottle and put some water in there, shake it up and just set it down and let it settle. And then from there, you can kind of see what, what was sand and what was clay. Clay will be the softer stuff on top and sand will be at the very bottom. This soil is basically 100% clay. Failed pretty hard on our stucco mixture. As soon as it dried out, I mean, it's like, It's really bad. So, we're gonna have to sort that out for sure. Our mixture wasn't very good on the walls and only had enough sand in it. We tried adding more sand and the, like the second half wasn't chipping off as bad, but it was like really powdery. It's, it's close. I think that we're just, just a hair short of sand. You can see it took forever to dry and then it just like falls off. Yeah. It's so, like our first yeah. batch had like two cans of sand, which wasn't near enough. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, Ellie's brother Joe came down. He came down to help me out here. Just a couple of these collar ties. We're just gonna get these put in here so that in the snow this winter, we don't have any walls getting pushed out because of the weight on the roof. A couple little upgrades just to make sure that they're, the roof is gonna stay on real good. Me and Joe finished up all the collar ties and we also put in that little piece there to hold the lay on. I think the roof is structurally sound now, enough to handle a little more snow. So now we just gotta go out and finish the last of the shingles. We have like eight bays to do, and then we're finished up. All right, we're finishing up the peak here, and we're not real sure how to do it. We've gone with the system of just, if you think it's gonna leak, put way too much tar on the nail up. Put a whole tube in there. Basically. Nail it. Nail it. Or just glue it and see how it fares. Oh man. I don't think we're nailing it. No nails. Oh. Yes, I know this is OSB, but it's all we got, so that's what we're gonna use. Keep the animals out. All right, we got the roof done, and the outside walls up, and everything's boarded up. Exterior's done except for the, like a little bit of paint and the stucco. It's all hitched up, so you know what this means. After being up here in the winter for a little bit, or the starting of winter, it's been really cold. So we're gonna come back here in a couple months when it's warmer, and. 
and get back out of it again. We're really excited to finish it up. Yeah, we got some really cool ideas for the interior. Plus, we're wimps and we hate the cold. Shh. <laughs> Everything's all loaded into the cabin. All our building materials. Yeah, I'm putting some mail. Everything's all put away. Heading out. We'll be back. Boy, you ready to go? Back up to the cabin, see what kind of shape it's in. I think it's gonna be perfect when we get up there. See if the roof leaked at all. Just get right back up where we were, get the stucco up, the floor yeah, done, sure. windows in. But there's a Moving. list. Interior, finish the exterior. I'm really excited yeah. to get back up there. It's gonna be again. fun to get back up there and start working on it again. It's just like it's been in the back of our minds, you know? Gotta finish the project, you know. And camp out with our generator and our solar panels. Driving up. See the building over there? First glimpse of it. There it is. Nice. Everything looks to be in good shape still. Gotta pull our trailer up through there and back her in now. Get our RV all set up, get more settled in here, and then start working away. Hey guys, what do you think? Okay, we're back at it. Back at it again. We're gonna break into it, see what it looks like inside. We're gonna open up the building and see what the inside looks like, see if it's leaked. Okay. Everything's still in here. That's nice. It's pretty dark in here. Yeah. You get some windows in. It's looking great, exactly what we expected to see. There's a small hole here where the bear crawled in, <laughs> but it's nothing we can't fix. And then we'll probably work on the windows because mm -hmm. it's pretty dark inside. The window frames are all boarded up. We are going to be putting some windows in. So we gotta get this board off and stuff out of the inside. The frames didn't settle at all with the building, which is really nice. Sometimes they do a little bit, you know, they'll knock out a square just a little bit. All right, looks like it's all ready for a window. Party. When we first went to build that building and it fell over, we had already accumulated a bunch of supplies. Was, we went to the city and we got these windows off of Craigslist. They were really nice windows. They're like triple panes, brand new. And they've just been sitting up there gathering dust. I can't believe they're not broken or anything because they've been up there for like five years now. Yeah, even the screens were good still. <laughs> yeah, but the windows just slipped right in. It was really smooth for putting was, in windows. So It did not take us long. Alrighty, we got all the windows in. This is the master bedroom, I guess. It's the one with the bathroom in it. And then here's this guy, the uh, living room kitchen, and the other bedroom. Got all of them in. It's so much lighter in here. These windows are perfect for this, I think. They're nice and bright. Yeah, it definitely brightened it up in there with the big door frames to the bedrooms. It's cheery in there now. It's really nice. <laughs> We built the log structure right after buying that property. We went up there and we camped for a little bit and that was the first thing we built. At that time, I think mom and dad were planning on building a log cabin up there and we were they were just kind of experimenting building with logs. Turned out that we ended up going a different way, the bags. So we're gonna be uh, tearing like this and all this stuff off and building the awning that's gonna look similar to the roof. First up, we gotta tear it down. All right, first one's coming off. Here, no. You okay? 
It's nice. just been sitting up there ever since we've had the property now, I guess. The log structure's been there. We built it with the idea that we were gonna tarp it and put tents underneath it, and that's what we used it for for a lot of years. With just throwing a tarp on the top of it, we didn't worry about having perfectly straight rafters and all that stuff. It was just fine to lay the logs on top and put a tarp on that. I had a little log there. Now that we're gonna try and put a real roof on it, we want to keep the six posts when we're gonna get rid of everything except the main beam going across the center. It's a really nice post up there and I think we'll be able to just set the roof right on top of it and it'll actually make our roof stronger. It worked out really well when we bought the material. Well, it was kind of a mistake, but it's gonna work out for the best. When we bought the material for the roof, we accidentally got way too many two by sixes. So we thought maybe we'd use that to build the frame for the awning roof and it was a perfect amount. We actually still have a little bit left over Me too. to do other things. I'm not gonna mention who um, over bottom that bed. It wasn't bang. We, would, we, wouldn't, we wouldn't do that. Now, all my calculations are just under, so we always have to go back to the store. <laughs> yes. Now we can build this into a really cool little shed roof. Probably set a beam on top of this beam. We'll put a two by six on top, and then the whole roof will set on this main log here, basically. We had talked about stuff. doing like an outdoor kitchen and we thought it'd be really cool to put an awning over that so that it was sheltered over. We're gonna wait on the outdoor kitchen right now, but we thought we'd go ahead and get the porch over. That's why you come into the house, it's raining, whatever, you can get out of the rain for a minute before you get inside. She also could be used as a carport. I do think a car would fit in there. I've never built one before, but I've seen dad build a lot, so I just kind of winged it. I called him on the phone a couple times, but you know what? I must say, it, I don't think you can really tell. Highs is 70s and lows is 40s, so that's comfortable. No snow. No snow. If and it shouldn't snow, freeze. We're turning around. <laughs> well, I don't know if you can tell or not, but uh, you know, we left to get out of the cold. Mm -hmm. So now we're back here in the middle of May, and it's snowing again. Look at this. I don't know if you can Madness. see that. Like, it's not a bad snow, and it's not gonna stick. But that's not the point. It's cold. It'll be warm, they said. <laughs> it won't snow, they said. If it snows, it won't stick, they said. It's sticky. <laughs> it stopped, and hopefully the sun will come out, and it'll melt away. Sun shining today, snow's gone, thank goodness. And we're gonna start putting up the sheeting. Woo! Even the right side down? What can I say? It went together super easy. It was really fun to build too because it's square and we haven't put a square roof on in a long time. Well, I guess they just did. I and Ellie, we <laughs> have not put a square roof on in a little while, so it was a lot of fun to work with. Alright, we got all the sheeting done. So now we're just gonna put our flashy on the edges, tar paper, and start the shingles. We're gonna put in this to your door, or I'm gonna start putting in the door. It's a massive opening. It means that we gotta frame it in just a little bit. Build these out like six inches on either side almost. All right, our door frame is square and it's proper now. Took a little bit of weird fudging on certain stuff, but it's good. It's got like a you know, a double beam all the way around. Good and solid, it'll hold the door nicely. This should be pretty good. Nice, looks good, babe. I've never built a door frame before. It came together surprisingly well and it's a super solid frame now. Hey, Al. What you doing? Okay, so we're polyurethaning these posts. We have some polyurethane here. We're gonna put that on the poles. Yeah, just sealing them in so that the, the weather doesn't keep eating them away. Definitely gonna look good. Seal them out from any water. We got them all polyurethaned. Now they're gonna hold up to the elements a little better. The nice, shiny, rustic look. Get started on the shingles. Yeah, it's really, it's gonna be awesome to get this thing finished up. We had leftover shingles and we only had two bundles. We ended up needing like six, but we went to the store and bought one. So then we had to go back to the store, which is not close. These shingles are a little smaller. 
than the original ones we were putting on. And then it turns out the shingle size had changed. So we had smaller shingles than originally had, like by like an inch and a half all the way around. So we had to tear back off what we had on one side, being careful not to rip it because we needed all our material, and then put it back on. And you can't tell because it's not, I mean, it's not, you just can't tell. All right, it's finished. Other than paint, this bad boy is done. I think it's gonna work pretty good. It's kind of an interesting connection between these two here, you know, between the two roofs of the house and the awning, but it worked out and it's gonna be good because we were able to use these six poles that were already in the ground. We were like, okay, it's gonna take us a while because it took, you know, the cabin roof took us a little mm -hmm. bit, but man, we got it done like hours. Got this side all nice and shingled. Looks the same now as the building. I will say though that the change to the small shingle yes. laid out way nicer. So oh. like it was good. It we only, was... He, he's being a little dramatic. We only had to pull out like five. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I'm feeling today. <laughs> Covering myself in paint. Trying to figure this out. But we're getting it. We decided to use good. the sprayer on the eaves because when you're painting with a brush and eaves, it just takes a long time. The sprayer, super fast, super easy. This is not pink paint. This is a light red paint. And it, it was really supposed to be. It's a little lighter red than we wanted. The paint is definitely a little pinker than we initially wanted. And for a little bit when we were putting it on, it was like, holy cow, this is gonna be super pink. But it, it actually dried to a pretty nice red. Still a little lighter than we were hoping for, but definitely still gonna be perfect for what we're doing. This bad boy is done, and that is, that is a good feeling. All right, Caleb's painting these. Perfect bracket thingy up there for the post, right? post to the roof. All right, well they're looking good. That's old. Drip edge. Drip edge, yeah. It's old drip edge. These are brackets Caleb made for us. They're gonna work so perfect. He's got them all bent up nice. This will just be here as an extra strap holding this roof on. Yeah, it's gonna look cool too, you know? One of the poles is kind of splitting at the top and we're worried that over time it's gonna get worse. So we're just gonna put a strap around the top of each of the poles. So I thought we'd do some sort of a, a strap around them just to keep them from separating any. And we thought we might as well do some barbed wire. The nice thing about the barbed wire, the little barbs are gonna kind of cut into the wood a little bit. And then that should fix that problem. We decided we needed to do another test on our mixture for our stucco. Looks like most of the stucco did fall off. Yeah. Not all of it though. I think a lot of it was due to it freezing. We need to make sure that our mixture is right. We're doing these three test spots here, varying mixtures to see which one's gonna work out the best. We go like cheapest to most expensive. The cheapest being we're adding a lot more clay. The problems that it adds is that it makes it super porous. It doesn't harden all the way. These are a heavy dirt clay mixture. Sure, these are kind of out of the question. You can see the, the cracking and they, they have a, they don't stick to the wall as good. And then we kind of go up again and you can see it just, it's getting better as it goes along, less cracking. It sticks a little better to the walls. This is just sand and cement. And you can see that this one is just. This, this one was the ratio that if you were to buy stucco, it would be a three to one ratio. But. It's expensive and it's it's gonna be unnecessary for this. I think in all honesty, we're gonna be going this with this one. one. It's a three sand, one cement, and half of dirt. This one's fun to put on. It's fairly sticky. It's a little bit drier than the other stuff, but it's not bad. And you can see when you has good texture, if we were to break it off, if we even can, like look at this. I mean like, that's what we need is we need it to stick to the wall. So it can't be peeling off. It needs to be stuck to the wall at the cheapest price point possible. Sand and cement we have to buy. That's our sweet spot. That's our sweet spot. All right, day one of stucco is finished. there. I think Gary and Ellie have done a really good job on the stucco slash cob. I think it's yeah. kind of stucco at this point. Yeah, I probably progressed more to that as time went on. But yeah, they're doing a great job. Pretty excited about how things are really turning out for them. Yeah, it's fun to see those those walls go up. It's starting to look more like a home as that stucco is attaching to the wall and we're watching it kind of grow. And you know, it's funny. It, I know it was difficult for them. You and I tried to help with the combination of what mixture they should use for the outside of the building. And you know, from one climate to the next, it's so different that what 
what worked here for us, we took that same knowledge up there and then found that that just did not work. Different place. A lot of folks will comment saying, Carrie, will this work in my area? And I go, well, it works in mine. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so I don't always have an answer. So you kind of have to test that stuff out. I remember the times when it was kind of falling off, how we felt like, oh man, like, you know, it should work and it didn't. So it took a lot of experimentation, a lot of, you know, persevering and getting through it. And no, that doesn't work. Okay, let's try this. And asking around, getting some suggestions and help from other people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they persevered through it and they're just diving in. They're such hard workers too. Okay. When they set their mind to it, they just power in through it. And I know the, the camera is sometimes frustrating for them because they just want to work. They don't yeah. want to deal with the camera. And, well, there's only know. two of them. And yeah. like there's, you know, five or six of us around here. So somebody's usually available for camera around here. It's just there that have to either set up the tripod or one films the other. It's still going to have paint on the outside of it, but the building is looking really cute and homey. And yeah. Like, yeah. I guess that's what cabins are about is something fun. Cozy. Yeah. Cozy. Up the fire. Living up here in the mountains has really been a lot of fun. The summer up here is gorgeous. The air is just beautiful to breathe. It, if it rains up here, the smells are just really cool. I've uh, seen some elk and stuff too. It's yeah, really cool. the elk just walking around out here. Right outside our trailers. Yeah. yeah. Woo, we're so close. We just have this section right there. And then we're, we're done. It's stuck up. Diesel taking his usual position. What can I say? We got fat and happy dogs. That's just a little more curious. Because the winters up here are so harsh, we're not really planning on living up here. It's just a little too cold for us desert folk. We're planning on this place being more of a vacation home that we come up to and spend a little time at in the summers as well as yeah. in fall maybe. Huh? Yeah, maybe fall. It'll be more of a cooler getaway from the hot desert. That's kind of what we're planning. We finished the stucco! We finally got done with this, probably the biggest project. Everything went really smoothly stuccoing this thing and turned out really, really nicely. So we're very it's pleased. very hard, not gonna fall off this time. stuff is just rock hard, perfect, doesn't rub off, it is, it's stuck up, and that's a whole new animal, it's working great. Going to get some paint today. Mm -hmm. It's going to look so good on the paint too. They decided to do another coat just underneath all the eaves and around everything, and it really, it darkened the paint up. Yeah, as you can call it, looks really good now. It's very red. Now. Yeah, it's and a more lot. pink. We're going to fill some of the big spots on our cleats. We have these sections that are open and we're going to film with spray foam. Here we go, we're going to start painting the outside of this building. I think we can get it done in a day, but we'll see. All the fun stuff set up here. Put parts where they're supposed to go and push the trigger and, and have fun. Make sure all the stuff's tight so it doesn't spray me in the face again. Okay, we decided to go with kind of a medium brown. About like that color there. So we think that'll look pretty nice. Kind of a chocolate brown. A little different, but I think it'll look really good. I'm gonna thin this paint down a little bit, make it go through the gun a little easier. Precise measuring device. All right, is it ready to paint? That is. Okay, let's see, what else do we need? Guess we need to go turn on the generator and start spraying. up all the spraying so now we gotta go around and hit everywhere that he couldn't get close to the, to the door frame 
and the eaves and stuff. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. I'm gonna figure out something for the trim here. Contemplating on like using pallet boards and stuff like that, but our pallets aren't quite long enough, so I'd have to piece it together, which would work, but it's not gonna look quite as good. We have a lot of leftover two by sixes, so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try ripping down one of these two by sixes, see what it looks like. All right, that looks like trim, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah so. I'll cut the length, uh, I'll cut it to the bottom, I think, but something like that. Yeah, that's gonna look really nice. Paint it up red? Yeah, paint it red. And then on this one, I probably have to like kind of notch this out a little bit. They just make it look more organic and fun. So. Nice, I like it. Fortunately, I don't have finished nails. These are just the nail gun nails. I've pre drilled them, that way they don't split the wood. I'm just gonna paint over the top of them, and you won't even notice they're there. This is the last piece, so I want to make sure that it all butts up real nicely. Ooh, that's cold. Progress has slowed a little bit. We uh, got a, a rainstorm come in. We got to pull these face pieces on this door frame off because that board that runs across that way, that's the frame for the footer there. You have to pull that off, and then the boards need to run all the way down to the ground. Okay. Put some long ones on and now it's gonna look, look really nice. We're gonna put a coat of paint on these things and the door frame will be complete for real this time. This thing's been up here for probably three or four years and it's in great shape. Put it right in here and it's done. Got the whole door in, get her painted. I put a piece of trim on a little early, so gonna have to paint around that, unfortunately. At the moment, it's looking really good like a house. I'm gonna paint the door red here. Who doesn't like a red door? It's great on the outhouse, so it'll look great on the house. That's my theory. What do you think, Dave? Sounds good. We've decided to paint these before we put them up. That way it's just so much easier to paint trim. You don't have to, you know, have a real steady hand. And it really comes out better, I think. So we're just giving these a quick paint and then I'll drill my holes. I got these all painted up and I think that these are about ready to get put up. door. I'm just doing the easy part. Garen's gonna do the door now. Red door, which looks amazing. We finished the outside. It is completely done. All the painting, doors, windows, trims. It's that been a, a lot of painting. See our door is done in the back there. The exterior came together extremely well. We had almost no problems at all. Paint was a little weird at times. The paint we got, it gets darker for several days after you paint it on. Yeah. We were really nervous. We almost decided to pick another color and paint over it, but we yeah. left it and it just got darker and it ended up looking really nice. Yeah, so. it looks really good. Thank goodness we decided to wait it out a little bit. That would have been a bummer. So That's as far as we're gonna get this time. We're very excited to come back sporadically and get it finished up. Yeah, it'll be kind of a vacation and yeah, work. When it gets real hot in the summer and we wanna just get out of the heat for a little bit, this is the perfect place to do that.
All right, boys, you ready to go? Ready to go? Hop on up. Okay, we are finished. We got everything packed up. We are ready to hit the road. So long, Kevin. Come on, Petrol. You can do it. Come on. You can get up there. Oh. All right. You guys ready? Huh? You guys ready to go? Yeah? All righty. Family moved from the city to the country. Thanks for taking part in our adventure. We have new videos every Friday evening. If you would like to help us out, you can like this video, share it, subscribe, or support us on Patreon. See the links in the description. All right, so Garen's and Ellie are getting the camera. Yep, getting all our fancy stuff. He's Free got eye. the drone. Oh. Yep, we are kitted out. It's actually a man cave that he's inviting his wife to. You okay with that, Ellie? You okay with that, Garrett? <laughs> Very good, guys. <laughs> Above your head, that's for sure. I feel like there's a good pun to go here. Insert brief saying a uh, good pun. Okay. To test the true strength of mule tape, we're gonna be running this quick test. Don't do this unless you're a professional and wearing safety goggles. Yep. Isn't that comfortable? Thank you so That's very pleasant. That's it. We're we're installing toilet seats in on the kitchen chairs because they like cushion your they butt like and hold you, you in. <laughs> yeah. That is a comfortable throne. Like I could seriously put some time in. <gasps> Board is actually almost too nice to use for this. Yeah. Oops. Don't put that on there, mom. The mud coating on top is especially nice because it keeps that water that you just don't want seeping in, it keeps it beating right off. Tan and tar. Yeah. <laughs> you get your extra curly stuff. You're wasting your money. And then you get a coffee can, but you don't want a full coffee can. It's that midway coffee can right between half and full, three quarters. Mushrooms growing out of the cow poopies. Beautiful. Don't see that every day. Nope. <laughs> I wasn't complaining. I was stating facts in a mournful way. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. Complaining. <laughs> Builders, how's my hair look? It looks really good. Do I have camping cabin hair? Yeah, I think so. Yes. Oh wait, I'm not supposed to film bullets. Yeah, petrol. Ellie told me to only film petrol because we need a lot more people on Team Petrol. Oh. Yeah. What? What do you mean? <laughs> Just kidding. She didn't really tell me that. She said film diesel. Hi guys. What are you doing? What are you doing, huh? Coming to say hi? Or I was just, I wasn't. No, I wasn't. Almost. Door needs closed. Stuff a little bit needs to go in. Edit that out. Okay. Thanks, Mom. You're the best. So, we was, whoa! <laughs> Tip kisses. Aggressive kisses. You ready? We did the other side because I had to figure out how to do it. Um, and I wanted to sound smart. <laughs> so we're still. <laughs> this is what happens when you have low budget lighting. <laughs> and you can't tell because it's not. I mean, it's not. You just can't tell because it's so small and there are different sides, but. <sighs> wow. <laughs> Okay, okay. We finished the stucco. Woo! That was that was so good. <laughs> okay. I actually got that. Dang it. <laughs> Yeah, cabin baby. Exciting. Mm -hmm.